Glassware is a single appliance virtualization platform. We deliver our applications through either an HTML5 browser or custom clients available for iOS, Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac. So today we have the two appliances that I introduced earlier. And on the screen, we're just actually looking at their resources. We also have an Xbox connected through Wi-Fi and to show the compatibility of our application virtualization, I will now go launch some applications within Xbox. And so we're just on the main landing page of our applications and you'll see different colored applications and the reason for the two colors is because of the load balancing and redundancy that we have in place. Some applications are hosted on the Overland appliance and some applications are hosted on the actual Dell server. So part of uh, using an Xbox, uh, the ability is also to connect a keyboard to it and I can launch an application within the Xbox frame and now have a notepad running. Here I'm launching a uh, training tool that allows for junior software developers to learn how to write code. And as you can see, the latency is near zero. On the other side, I have a iPad with some applications hosted in our uh, hosted environment across North America. One of the applications and one of the designs of glassware is the ability to emulate most microcontrollers or CPUs running custom operating systems. And one of the uh, ones that are probably most difficult to do these days is the original P uh, digital PDP-8. And so right now I'm just going to do the common command of listing all my files and I'm going to pinch and zoom so that we can see here that the file and the storage type is exactly the same as the old Fortran and PDP-8 environment. And just for uh, adventure reasons, back in the day the uh, only game available in these uh, old programs was actually called Adventure. And welcome to Adventure, would you like instructions? And we're just going to do a little tour here. Yes. Somewhere is a Colossus cave. And this is the uh, old gaming systems. So that was PDP-8. We can also virtualize other applications such as the typical Microsoft Office applications. And so this is connected through a cell network on 3G currently, connecting to our cloud. We're doing a QoS, we're reading the environment of the actual device itself, and we're going to import that data over to our servers. So now I have Microsoft Word running. And also, because I read the device and I understand all of its components, Testing, one, two, three. I have the ability to import Siri also. Pinch and zoom is available. Another important feature is that there is no desktop environment. We are actually only virtualizing the application itself. Here on a Chromebook, again, we have the ability to import applications now that are x86, x64 based. And this is an Acer Chromebook 2014 model with the touch screen embedded in. And here we go, we got Scratch running 
on the Chromebook. This is actually running locally within our environment here.